Right, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a set of slides and hyperlink them together and then I'm going to show you how to switch the mouse control off. The sound effect you can hear in the background is next door's dog. Right, imagine I was writing a package about sheep and goats and I wanted to show some information about sheep on one slide and then some information about goats on another slide. What I would do is I would make my screen a bit bigger so you can see what's going on and then I would add a couple of buttons to this first blank slide here using my drawing tools. So let's have a couple of basic shapes as my buttons. Let's have one button for sheep. Now I'm going to right click, can't show right clicking over that one, and add some text. So that's sheep. Now I could do the same thing to make goats, but a quicker way is to copy what I've just done for sheep, click on the slide, and then paste what I've done there. So I've got a second copy of the sheet button. Then I just change the text for goats. That, that can save you a lot of time if you copy and paste things where you can. Well, the next slide I want is my information slide about sheep. So there we are. Let's click on the text box to make some information. Uh, sheep are good at eating grass. Notice how the text wraps to the width I made my text box. Then I want the same slide for goats, so what I'm going to do is cheat slightly and I'm going to copy that slide. I'm going to click on the outline view and I'm going to paste that slide as well. Copy and paste where you can. All I have to do now is change the bits. Good at eating everything. Okay. So I've got two very minimal information slides. So what I need to do now is I need to link my buttons to, so that when the student clicks on them in presentation view, they go to those two slides. So I select one of my buttons and I right click, can't show right clicking, and I scroll down until I get to an entry called action settings. And I click on that one. And then I click, click on hyperlink to, and instead of saying next slide, which would work in this case, but generally won't, I'll say click on link to slide two. So I click OK, and I click OK again. And that means I've connected that button so that when it's clicked on, it'll go to slide two. Do the same thing for goats. Right click. Look for action settings. Ignore hyperlink. It's very tempting, but ignore it. You want action settings. Click on that one. Click hyperlink to, which is confusing. And then click on, in this case, slide three. That's the one about goats. So it gives you a little preview of what's on the slide, so you know which one's which. Click OK. So when the student clicks on sheep in presentation view, they'll be taken straight to the slide about sheep. And when the student clicks on goats, they'll go straight to the slide about goats. But there's a problem. They can't get back. They can't get anywhere else. So what I need to do now is provide a menu button on here to get them back to my first slide. Now, in the shapes menu, there are some special buttons called action buttons that have a home slide already provided for you. When I release this, it automatically brings up the action settings box because they're action buttons and it's set to a sensible thing hyperlink to first slide so I'll just accept that default I could do the same thing on the goat slide but it would be slightly quicker to copy that button onto my goat slide and if I had a load of other ones it'd be quicker to paste those onto each of the slides I wanted the button to appear on notice how that button appeared in the same place as the previous slide. That's a feature of copying drawing objects between slides. It's very handy. I should say you don't have to use shapes. You could use photographs or icons or anything for those buttons. Okay, now what I want to do is something a little bit different. What I want to do now, having saved my changes, is I want to make a fourth slide. So I'll insert new slide. And this slide is going to tell people about the word good. This is my glossary slide. And I'm defining the word good. So good is a value judgment. 
I'll go for spelt judgment wrong. There we are. Okay, now I want to, the problem now is that I want the word good to be linked to this slide wherever it appears, which means there could be several slides linking to this one. So I want to, the, the students to be able to get back again. So what I do is I insert another action button. I'll use the going back action button when I click on that. And traditionally you put going backwards ones down on the bottom of the screen. My box, my action setting box opens up automatically with the action buttons. But instead of setting it to previous slide, I set it to last slide viewed. And I press OK. So I now want to go back to my information slides and I want to link the word good with that glossary setting wherever I see it. So click in here, highlight just the word good, trying to avoid getting the trailing space on that one. And then I right click over it, can't show right clicking on my screen very well. And I select action settings, not hyperlink. And I hyperlink to slide four because that's where my glossary is. See how it goes rather poor colors. We can change the hyperlinking colors. There's a menu to do that. And I want to do the same on slide three because by sheer coincidence, the word good is used there. So I can hyperlink the word good and then I can right click over that and I can go to action settings, not hyperlink and I can hyperlink to slide four. So I've got two hyperlinks leading into the same slide. Press OK. Better save my changes. Now, before I test all this out, I've got to switch off the spacebar. I've got to make it so that you no longer advance the slide using spacebar. The first thing to do is to click on slide show and set up show and then select kiosk and accept that change. That means it's designed for screen based presentation now, not assuming there's a live speaker with a projector. The next thing you do is alter the slide transition. So you go to the slide transition menu or you right click on the white part of the slide to get the slide transition menu item. And then what you do is you untick the mouse click box and apply to all. So when the student actually starts this PowerPoint up in presentation mode, they won't be able to go anywhere except where you've made links to. Let's have a look and see how it all works. Slide view show. There we go. Sheep, goats. Pretty here, I'm press pressing my space bar like mad, nothing's happening. Click on sheep. Go to sheep slide. Oh, look, there's the word good. Let's check its definition. Oh, got to the glossary slide. Back, I arrive back on my sheep slide, and now I go home. Let's have a look at goats. There's goats. Oh, they're good as well. Let's have a look at what good said. Yep, and then I go back home. That's it. Sorted.